this video, we'll show you how robotics and computer techniques can be applied to build new and exciting architecture. Traditional construction can be a slow and inefficient process. Robotic building has the potential to revolutionize the way we build. We're visiting researchers to tell us about how they integrate robotic building in their architectural designs. Welcome to the Robotic Building Lab at TU Delft. The goal of robotic building is to introduce robotics in architecture, to have more efficient processes, to empower the architect in the design process and the production process, because with this technology we link the design to the production. So the architect becomes not only the designer of a building, but also eventually the producer, the manufacturing of a building component. And hence, in the future, a whole building. As an example, we'll show you graduate student Benjamin's project. The days of oil and gas rigs are coming to an end. Benjamin used robotic building to transform an abandoned oil rig into a hypermodern living city. The idea was to create a, a network which connects all the platforms offshore and create city nodes or islands on each platform. So I zoomed in on one platform which is very close to the coastline here. It would be like a small city. You have all the functions you find in a city distributed in a different way. So I would use swarm calculations to distribute function volumes. So you can define a swarm in a, in a computational model, define a certain number of agents. Each group of them could have different rules, so you define actually a rule set. So agent A is looking for agent C or location 1, while agent B is trying to avoid agent A and is looking for location 2 and so on. So then you could use that to distribute the volume, for instance, of living units to the very sunny side. After that I've zoomed in and I developed a living unit and uh, defined 30 different functions I want to use on the inside and the outside of this living unit. So you can find solar panels on the outside, ventilation cells which connect inner and outer shell. For instance, silicon cells could be used for adaptive behavior such as a slight redirection of, of solar panels or on the inside an adaptive bench where it's more comfortable to sit on. Compared to other industries, we are, let's say, only now starting actually to get into uh, robotics. But I think it's going to be picking up fast. From my observation, the students love it and they, they become, in very short time, uh, experts, I would say. <laughs> 